So we were at site on a local airfield and we were in that, a porter cabin, which has been fed from the main installation that had this consumer in it. We're doing an EICR and what we've done is we've gone to do the first live test, which is testing the polarity of the supply. And then what we've realized is actually the polarity is incorrect for the whole cabin. So if I probe onto further there, if I go onto the line conductor coming in, you can see there's not really any voltage there, 6.0 volts. But if I go between earth and neutral, you can see we actually have 230 volts. And then if I go between line and neutral, you can see we still have our single phase voltage. So this is because naturally where it's being fed from, the polarity is incorrect. And that's caused this whole neutral bar here to become live and the problem is now that these overcurrent protective devices are now switching the neutral conductor because technically this bus bar here is the being used as the neutral so we do not have correct polarity because we know that polarity is for making sure we are switching the line conductor so then the bus bar is being used as the neutral again we'll show you between the neutral and our earth bar we have our single phase voltage so after further investigation in looking for the supply for the incorrect polarity we found this rcd enclosure here and this actually feeds a 16 amp commando socket and what we've done is we've checked the conductors there which have not been identified by sleeving we've got number two labeled as number two being used for the neutral and number one for the line from this enclosure but actually when we opened up the plug top we can see that the line there is actually being used as number two and the neutral is number one so that's where our polarity issue has come from and it just happens to be the fact that this has actually been installed on a plug top like this so now we've re-terminated the plug top we found inside of that sort of hangar we're at an airfield type of place what we're going to do now is we're going to actually recheck our first live test of polarity of supply and again we've said that actually it does become one of the tests where people tend to skip past it this is the reason why we do it so we're going to go on to our, our earth bar on our line and as you can see we have 232 volts our earth bar on our neutral again this is where we had voltage and we should get next to no voltage which we have and then we're going to go between neutral and line and we've got 230 volts.